Okay, so this unit conversion problem is actually throwing in some uh, some geometry at us, right? So we have this copper wire um, that atomic unit uh, atomic symbol C U copper, um, right? So we need to figure out how long the wire is. So the way that I would approach this problem is, you, I would treat the wire as one long cylinder, um, and if that is the case, so we treat the wire as a cylinder, and then um, um, give us the density and mass we're able to get volume out of that, right? And they're asking what the length of the wire is. So think about this as some kind of a problem, right? The volume of the is equal to pi r squared times the height of the cylinder. And um, in this case, the height is what, what we're looking for, because the height in, in this case is going to be the length of the cylinder. So I'm going to call the, the answer, the length, I'm going to call it h just to stay, just to stick to what the, uh, the true equation of the volume of a cylinder is. But the way that we're going to do this is um, we're going to use the density, right? So I'll start off. off um, I'll start off um, with the mass of the wire. So if we start off with the mass and that by the inverse of the density, right? So we're going to cancel out. Um, so they go. So now we're with um, 2.455 inverse sorry, cubic centers. So this is the length, um, of the wire based on the mass that we have. And um, this is where it might get a little tricky, right? Because our diameter of the wire is given to us in millimeters. So going to your textbook and understanding and looking at the prefixes, right, we have to go from milli to centi. Um, so one way you can do that is use dimensional analysis, right? Um, and you can go uh, use the scientific given in, in that table and go back to meters and go from meters to centi. Um, so I'm just going to show that um, just for fun, right? So uh, for every one millimeter, uh, milli prefix ten to the minus three, right? So now, now we're in meters, and then if we go to centimeters, the has prefix ten to the second meters. So, um, realistic, we just changed by our hand. So you can go and say those those uh, milli, milli and centi are only um, they're zero away from each other, right? They're adjacent to each other on the table. The table moves in factors of ten, so there's ten millimeters for every one centimeter. So the diameter 0.25 millimeters is 0 0.025 centimeters. It only changes by a factor of ten. Um, so I'm going to go to a second notebook, here, right? So we just figured out that. The diameter is 0 0.025 centimeters. Our, our cylinder equation, right? Let me rewrite that as well. So our cylinder equation is pi squared. So R is diameter, the radius half the diameter, right? So that's going to be 0 0.0125 centimeters. Um, and then you're just Right, so um, so in the numbers that we've gotten so far, so volume is 2.455 cubic centimeters, it's going to be equal to pi, uh, um, 0 0.0125 centimeters cubed, sorry, squared, um, times h, and then we're gonna divide, um. So H is equal to 2.455 centimeters cubed over pi times 0 
one, two, five uh, centimeters is going to go in squared. So doing this calculation, I recommend using a few decimal points after pi um, just to make sure that your answer is the most accurate it can be. Um, so the way that I'm gonna, the way that I did this equation, I took pi out to five decimal points. So I did three point one five, sorry, three point one four one five nine. Um, that gave me enough leeway. So when you do this equation, um, you should get. So it's two point four five five um, divided by three point one four one five nine divided by 0 0.0125 squared. Um, your answer should be close to 5,001.289 uh, centimeters, right? Our answer should be in centimeters um, because it's, it's a one-dimensional length. So um, one thing that we're forgetting is significant figure the problem gave us the density in three significant figures but we have the mass and the diameter in two significant figures around this to two significant figures. Um, so the way that we can do that is we can round this up um right now we have uh, a lot more than four we have seven right so you can call it um i would say in two figures i call this answer zero times 10 to the third centimeters. These two numbers here are the two that are significant.